I got a request from a viewer on how to design a square spring. Sounded like an interesting challenge, so I gave it a go and this is what I came up with. There's a few different sections. A different way of making a square spring. And another one. So I'm going to do this in two parts using the two different techniques I've found so far. Right, we've got our sketch grid. These rectangles represent one millimeter rectangles. So we're going to make a spring 10 millimeters square and we'll make it about 20 millimeters long. So we're going to start somewhere here and just make straight lines these don't seem to snap to the grid all the time for some reason And we go to design mode, D for design mode. And now we got, we're going to select move, then we're going to select alternate lines with the control key pressed. Then we'll move those 10 millimeters. And what we have now is a, spi a square spiral. Select the select tool, cut one end of the spiral there, little green dot on the end. Now you can use pretty much any of these to put your profile of the wire or whatever you're going to use for the spring. So you can put a square on, a circle, a hex. Now I have not tried an ellipse on here, so we'll try an ellipse. So we select ellipse, that puts a sketch plane at the end, and we can draw an ellipse. We'll make that one millimeter, so, so that it actually looks like, there we are. So we've got an ellipse. Now we've got to remember that's two millimeters across there, so we've got to do something about be careful about bends in here. D for design mode. Now I have done it without putting radii in here and it does work. Let's see if it does that with an ellipse. So in the pull mode select our surface we're going to sweep pick the trajectory to sweep along so double click uh, select all of our square spiral then full pull fingers crossed Now there's the spring, rather strange spring, using an ellipse because you see 
here are the ellipse starts off in this orientation and by the time it gets to the finish it's at a different orientation so it's not only spiraling it's twisting so you have to bear that in mind you see how it would sort of broad way on here and yet we're not away on here so it's spiraling and sw twisting at the same time so that needs to be borne in mind depending on what application you're using now we'll go backwards on that and we'll try putting some radii in here now I'm going to put two millimeter radius on all the bends Right, there we are, we've got all the corners ready stuff. And we'll start with our pull along a trajectory. Select the trajectory and full pull. Looks like this is taking some calculating. Mm -hmm. And there it is. You'll notice that not on, only does it spiral, it also twists. See how it's in one orientation there, the ellipse, and it's changed over here. So it's twisting in all directions. Similarly, if we go back. We'll make this one millimeters. We'll make it a pending. Select that. The Pentagon section square. So there, there we are, people. Square spring using various sections. Again, you have to bear in mind what is happening. It's not only spiraling; it's twisting at the same time. That might be all right for your application. Of course, if you made that a circle, it wouldn't matter. Hope you enjoyed that, hope you liked it, hope it's useful. Thank you very much, bye.